Uh, welcome back, you beautiful souls. Thank you so much for joining us as we have been really focused on spinal health today. And I think so many people have gone through some form of back injury, some more chronic than others, but rehabilitation in my journey has been key. And I think back injury rehabilitation is often recommended shortly after an injury because of COVID. So many of us that went through some kind of chronic back injury haven't had the rehab that we've needed. So I'm all about being proactive. And as you resume your daily activities, a program of gentle stretching and strengthening of the back muscles can help you recover. And here to take us through some of those exercises is Dr. McKelly. So um, this is, it's a crazy thing. It, it forced me to rethink how I train and treat my body. I used to almost push my body past its limits, break down those walls, break down that muscle tissue, and it was quite a combative. Absolutely, now, yeah. I, I see it as a completely different thing. As you get to my age, you've got to love <laughs> your things. body. Yeah, <laughs> because it becomes a list that you just, it's a compound list of injuries that you just add to. But Absolutely. all jokes aside, a little bit of stretching and being proactive can help you so much. And you don't have to even get your gym gear on. If you're at the office, if you're feeling the pain, you can yeah. do this. It yeah. doesn't require a lot. So you, you've taken us through some beautiful stretches that get the circulation going, that open up that system, get the movement. Where do we pick up from there? Cool. So I think, again, you know, I like to do always downward facing and then upward facing exercises. It just makes it easier to remember kind of like a, a flow to go through. In mm -hmm. yoga, we talk about, you know, flows and, and different ways of moving yeah. into different movements and I think that's really important. So I think, I mean, with spinal health, we, you know, yoga focuses on this really strongly, the downward dog mm. or that this position where your, your spine is kind of neutral and very safe and we're going to take two exercises from there and then we'll turn it onto the back and we'll do two okay, exercises brilliant. as well. So what the downward dog is, essentially, I mean, you can come into this through, through a flow, but you want to plant your feet and try and create a triangular shape with your body, right? Um, so what you're doing is you're trying to put your, your head in between your shoulders and kind of extend that shoulder blade and really push back through your spine so that you're getting a nice stretch in your spine, right? That's where you want to come. And that's a really good feeling. Like that you feel that right the way down your yeah. hamstring. And I think that's been a big thing for me is like all the muscles, you know, the butt muscles, the hamstring and Absolutely. the lower back are all so interconnected. And if one goes, it's a knock-on effect. Absolutely, man. So what you want to do is from here, I'm just going to take you through a very slow flow. So slow through your hands like that. And then we're just going to hyperextend the back a little bit. Push through your hands, extend that back. And you feel that really good stretch mm -hmm. in the lower back. And you can hold it there for as long as you need. I think this is a really good position to be in. And then from here, when you feel ready, you just flow back into a nice child's pose. So you go all the way back, extending that back in between. And you just feel the stretch up along the sides of your body, lower back. And that's a really good starting point for any sort of rehabilitation flow or movement for I the love lower that. Back. And it's all that tissue at the, you know, Absolutely. the fascia that connects everything. It's not just a muscle or a tendon or a bone. Exactly. It's a complete system. I mean, yeah. your back is so complex, so, you know, this is really good. So we'll come back into tabletop. Love From it. here, I want oh. to take you through two movements. These are good core strengthening back stretching exercises. So what you do is you're going to put your left leg backwards and your right arm forwards, and mm -hmm. you're going to kind of extend through the spine as much as you can as far as you can, and you're gonna bring it in, right elbow to left knee, and just crunch the core down. And then you wanna repeat through that movement, slowly, and you can feel your core contracting, and you can feel your lower back stretching nicely. And you'll just do five movements on either side. We'll finish one side. I and mean, it's crazy, I mean, there was a time where I couldn't do one. I, I couldn't even balance on one hand. You know? Exactly, so yeah, I mean, that's it's insane. It's man. a good thing you mentioned balance, you know, that's such a big part of spinal <laughs> health as well is working on that balance. Okay, cool, so you can repeat that on the other side. I wanna show you one more exercise while we're down here. So what you can do from this position, is you come forward with the one leg, okay? What you're gonna do is take your right arm and put it over your left leg, right? And then you wanna put your left arm, or your palm to palm, okay. right? And what you can do is you can push through your hands to sort of generate a rotational force in your back. And that's a really nice way to strengthen the sort of stabilizing muscles and to rotate mm. that back really. I don't know if you can feel that stretch in your lower back. Yeah, really right, nice right across the spine. It's quite nice because there's often parts of the spine that you can't get to. Exactly, it's a this really like good stretch. It touches in between the shoulder blades. Exactly, and you come back out of it oh, and you can nice. obviously repeat that on the other side as well. Yeah, beautiful. Cool. If we have some time, I want to just show you one exercise that we can do on the back as well. Mm. So that's sort of the downward facing exercises. What I like to do is we'll turn it around, we'll go onto the back. Okay, cool. So from your neutral position, just flex the knees, right? Mm -hmm. So you take your left 
ankle and you put it on top of your right knee, mm -hmm. right? And then you just take your arms and you put them behind your right knee. So behind, and this is a really good stretch for the lower back. And again, you can pull onto that yeah. right leg and, and you can feel the lower back stretching. If you've got the issues with the sciatica and if it's, you know, like the periformis and all those, yeah. those butt muscles that lock around that nerve, yeah. this becomes a great one. And this one you can hold as long as you need to and you can just repeat it on the other side. It's a really good stretch for the lower back. Yeah, to be honest, this is generally where I start. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, dude, yeah. really um, nice. I love it, man. I love the fact that a little bit of mobility goes a long way. And trust me, two weeks of inactivity, yeah. three months of moving backwards. Stand Absolutely. up, and you've earned yourself some fruits ah. of the forest because you're just so amazing <laughs> and so oh, tanned this morning. You've earned <laughs> you know, yourself a little dairy weather, snack, okay? Weather's been amazing. So. We, we can't pay him, unfortunately, but we have to give him something. <laughs> um, I absolutely love the fact that we've got you on tap, brother, and you oh, live man. all of these principles as well, which absolutely. makes a massive, massive, I think, a shot in the arm for us. You don't have to live with the pain. You can be proactive as much as it feels like, as I joke about saying, I woke up in someone else's body. You can find your way back. And the key for myself, for Sean, our amazing cameraman, who's also been on that journey for all of us, it's movement. You've just got to keep moving. So you've earned that, buddy. You can enjoy it. Thank you so much. Oh, I feel better already. <laughs>